Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Nomads of the Fallen Star. Franz here as always and this is a show where we take a first impressions look at new and upcoming titles. Like I mentioned, we've got Nomads of the Fallen Star today which is developed and published by Hugh Fan. It's a trade simulator and turn-based squad RPG with a very dynamic and living sci-fi story that's very strongly emphasised on the story. There is a few ways, there's like random events and everything, it's sort of not procedurally, but events can take different ways of down different course of the story. So you're all set about unraveling the mystery of the fallen star with your ragtag of heroes, and well, things can get dicey. First up, we've got some options menu. You got this guy's here in a window and mode. Not too much of the, the options. We'd like to see a little bit more, but it's okay with the way the, the graphics are in this. I think it can definitely handle it. So I think what we should do is we should go for a little bit of a tutorial. Just to make sure, the game design with extensive mouse over for further information in game. However, there are also two topics with additional information available for viewing. World map and combat. Combat tutorial covers mechanics and special rules. Which would you like to view? Uh, let's go for the combat tutorial. Alright, so the action... The action order each unit takes the turn to act based on speed rating. Current active units is within the circle. So, kind of like that, you know, things like those type of RPG games or turn based games. Person with high speed is going to go first. Skip the unit's turn or spacebar. Abilities of the active unit based on equipment and perks. So you can see here, we've got abilities or perks. To move, left click on the grid within range. Blue highlight, moving one grid requires two AP, so action points. Three bars above each unit indicates head armor. Wait a minute, so head armor, body armor, and hit points. Oh, okay, a weapon type icon is displayed for each unit. Number six. So that's there. Mouse over each unit to show its vital information. Some important combat rules to know. Melee units will, will lock down adjacent enemies. Once in melee range, units attempting to move away will trigger an attack that prevents them from moving. There's a line of sight for ranged weapons. Accuracy is reduced if the target is blocked by other units. Melee units will intercept hostile units trying to move past them. And if they are within attacking range, wielding one, yeah, one hand weapons without a shield, dual grip has a bonus to accuracy and critical chance. And if weapons or armor duel basically drops to zero, is broken beyond repair and is lost, heavier armor reduces the reduce available AP and evasion. Alright, so, world map. This is what you're going to be getting in the game. So, fast travel can be toggled by the spacebar or time to speed. A faint blue circle extending from the squad indicates a view range. There's number two. A faint, ah, I can see it there actually. It's a faint blue line there. Uh, current food and water. Each recruit consumes one unit per day. If food or water runs out, the squad will be weakened. Travel will slow and combat potentially is greatly reduced. So you can see up here free, you've got your food and water. Uh, each recruit is paid their wage at the end of each day. Without pay, the moral suffers and their combat potential reduced. So you can see here, coin or jewels, I guess. Tools are required to repair your armour and weapons, which suffer durability loss in combat. Note, broken equipment, zero durability, cannot be repaired. So we got that up there. Munitions are required for fire firearms. You may interact with any NPC squad. Some will accept trade, caravans, some accept offers to escort uh, to their destinations for a fee. If so escorting, stay close. Resource nodes are opportunities for scavenging. However, there are risks involved with each type of resource. And active battles are an opportunity to pick a side as you can help fight. When the battles are finished, you can leave behind a site for scavengers to find items or munitions. For squads, the number indicates how many active fighters that this group has. The face icon shows their current faction standing versus your squad. If they are hostile, they may attack. Any active story mission will be displayed. However, note that there are no time limits unlike mercenary contract missions. Do them when you feel ready. So basically... You can take the story at your own pace, but everything, like your sort of actual contract and mercenary missions are going to always have a time limit for you. Alrighty. It'll do even more. Select each recruit to access their equipment, skills, and perks. So your you know, standard sort of thing with RPG stuff, but there's a good, good amount of information here. A huge amount of information, actually. And, of course, you know, each equipped with the eye armor or weapon that also lists its current durability and everything there. Hit points will recover over time on the world map. No, if hit points drop to zero during combat, the, the recruit will suffer a major injury that takes longer to heal. Every two levels, a new tier or perk is unlocked. One perk can be selected per tier. Choose wisely. Decision is final. So that that's going to be locking you in. To recruit others to join the squad, you must find them in your travels. They may require certain conditions met, squad levels, or renown, or ask you to perform a mission for them. 
even more. Oh, this looks like crafting of some sort. Aona has some chemistry training during her time growing up in Derelict City. She starts out with capable of making easier items. Recipes are listed and in increasing difficulty. Early on, stick with antidote and healing salve. A failed attempt will lose the ingredients or materials, so balance the risk versus reward. So, this has a, a crafting mechanic that does have a sort of a, you know, sort of potential or percentage you may or may not lose the items. You unlock armor crafting as we progress and recruit an armor smith character into the squad. Similar principles apply to armor craft. Current progress for the active recipe is displayed. Note only one recipe can be active at a time. Each recipe lists the quantity produced. Note that as Iona's level exceeds the optimal level of the recipe, she can produce extra items at a bonus. The recipe lists the materials required and how many you have in inventory. In this example, dark spores, one, and we have zero. So it means you require one dark spore, but you have none in inventory. So when you click it, you're going to see like a nice wee icon next to it. Crafting requires time. Each recipe has a different duration. Crafting will occur as a squad travels on the world map. All right. That is that. So tutorials are for the weaklings. Let's start a brand new game. Do you wish to play Hardcore Permadev? Oh, uh, we'll start. No. We don't play Permadev yet. All right. As night falls, the once hot desert wasteland quickly t turns frigid on this world. Cold winds beyond the mountains descend to form dew, dew on the tall rocks scattered among the sandy landscape. A small fire glows beneath a rock shelter where several figures are huddled. The rising smoke and the steam carry a scent of dried meat boiling in a hearty soup. Varen, an old mercenary, stills the pot, stirs the pot, and looks curiously at the new squad member, Iona. So left click to go next. Alright, so Iona, you're the first mercenary I've uh, met out here in the wasteland that works for free. What's the deal? Uh, I needed to leave Dera City, but none of the other scavenger gangs wanted me in their squad. Heh, <laughs> can't blame them though, just look at you, a small girl looking for to run from home for an adventure. I'm not running, I'm searching for something important, something I can only find by travelling out here. What's so important that you had to leave the safety of Derelict City? My parents went missing not long ago. DC officials claimed they died in a raider ambush, but I don't believe that. Kiddo, I don't mean to offend you, but out here, raiders are a threat, and there are other things that will kill you without hesitation. My mother was a lead scientist. She would never leave DC without guards. No raiders would dare attack. Let's say you're right. How do you plan to find them? My mother left a data crystal, but it's encrypted. I've tried my best to decipher it, but I could only access the first layer. She wanted me to find someone called Tinker. They're going to find someone called Tinker to tinker with the... Okay. And I think I've finally found a possible location. Now look, all we've done out here are, per, uh, are petty caravan escort jobs for low pay. So before we run off on some wild adventures, we should be making big money and making a name for ourselves. We don't have to prioritise chasing my leads, but if we're near em Ember Lake, stop by so I can do some digging. Alright, so both of them look at you for the final decision. You tell Iona that we'll do our best to help her, but Varen is right. We must fight first, work towards a solid footing. Understood, Iona said with a nod. Meanwhile, Varen finishes a bowl of soup and chimes in. If it's money we're after, trade runs should be our focus. However, for renown, we should we have to take missions in towns that involve combat. Okay, so pack up and let's go. Just a tip, good trade routes are resources from outposts to towns. For example, Xenomium from Crystal Ridge to Junk Town. Right. Okie dokie. Juntown is a hub of activity. There's usually contracts for mercenaries like us. By the way, left click on the map to travel. Alright, so we've got Scrapyard, got Crystal Ridge, we've got Junktown. A major trade and production hub of Junker Syndicate. A small Zinnium Magnum outpost of, of the Junker Syndicate. Imports. So you get some outports. Scrapland, sca a scavenging outpost. I think we should go to here. Oh, we actually just kind of waddle down I'm assuming no this works yes oh we got a caravan coming here hello caravan uh caravan carav caravan all right our squad approach a merchant caravan laden with goods they have guards leading the way and several ca caravaners burdened with large backpacks and tool responding to our hail the caravan comes to a stop to rest while the guards come over to talk with a weary look and firmly grasping their weapons, the guards make it clear they are working for a merchant guild of Derelict City. Greet the caravan guards and inquire more information. Maybe we should take a hostile action, ask if we need extra armed escort to their destination. One of the camera looks up at the map on his comm link device and scratches his head. He shrugs while speaking, well our destination is not that far away, I think we can handle this journey ourselves. Okay, well that's us then. 
can see here up here it's got to got to be toggle sand lines I love how it even goes around that like the actual water and everything that's actually pretty cool right okay how do we how do we visit it okay holster our weapons and uh, enter peacefully the squad enters Junk Town, a large and well fortified community protected by natural rock formations and makeshift walls. Within, a giant windmill provides the town with much needed energy to be productive. You see some locals about, with most seemingly content and busy. Checking the public board, you see no notices about missing locals or merchant caravans. Okay, uh, so there's nothing here right now. Okay, never mind then. Uh, Ember Lake, uh, Doom Pit, an ore mining outpost and Junker Syndicate. Okay, let's see. Let, let's let stop. Stop this now. So, major shade, so imports medical supplies, refined metal tools. Exports ration, water, and spore. What the? Iona would like to visit a coast. Uh, that's Ember Lake. Crystal Ridge, is there any mining outpost? So, we can't get anything from there? We can't actually get anything at all. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so we got... So, visit Mercier to barter for trade goods. Available missions. No. Internal security reward times... Uh, reward 350 times 4. Target map location. The Mer Merchant Guild is seeking a merchant group to patrol three designated waypoints to deter raiders in the area. Once return, once paid. I'll take that one. Uh, Wasteland Rendezvous, an operative of ours is reporting in soon, however, in order to remain undercover, a rendezvous point is required. Wait to the designated area, retrieve the data crystal and return for payment. Okay, so we've got this. So, Redcliffe has a major medical supply shortage reward on offer for trade completion. Okay, let's return to the... We can see here, so it looks like we get more unit. What about so we got? You've got a sniper rifle, it seems. I'm gonna put you there. All right, exit out of that. All right. Now, does that appear on the map? Yes, it does. Spires four. I'm looking for an expired. Seems to be tornadoes around here. I don't know if I should be worried. There we go. Uh, closing in the waypoint, the squad has a, an uneasy feeling that they're being stalked. However, scanning the immediate area reveals only a barren landscape. The only obvious in, er, in irregularities are marks their boots leave in the sand. The squad dressed in a rock formation, taking some time to eat some of their ration and quench the first. Doing so in a quiet manner while focused on the surrounding sounds, the soft howl of the wind as it sweeps around the rocks, kicking up some sand. Beyond this, there's an eerie silence. The roars of several predators suddenly disturb the peace, causing recruits to spring to their feet. Oh dear. Time to show you guys what the combat is like. Oh god, you look a uh, howler. Alright, and what's this? Stay still. Paratic. Alright, it's your turn. Skip unit, dagger strike, fire, headshot, reload, fire bomb. Bombard targets within an area of... Mm, how much AP have you got left? Six. That did actually a good bit of damage. Okay, so power thrust. So strong thrust attack to increase armor penetration at the expense of accuracy. Uh, twin slash. How many AP you got? Five. Cost you two pair one to move, doesn't it? Yes. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to skip this just now. It's your turn. You're going to come over here and probably take a chunk out. Ow. Well, that sounded terrifying. Nice sound effects, to be fair. Uh, Alright then. 
Okay, let's see. Headshot target shot towards the fool's head. Less accurate, but potentially. Nice. Very nice. Do we have any AP? No, we've got two left just now. So how about we do... I no, can't even do that. It's your turn. Twin slash against this. <laughs> Didn't quite... Oh, we... Ah, okay. All right. Hmm. That costs AP 5, 6. Reload. Reload, I guess, and sword slash. <laughs> can you do it again? No, you can't do that again. How much health have you got? 8 of 31. Ooh, you took a little bit of damage. That is sounding rather terrifying. There we go. So, very nice. It almost feels like... Because we got a like for what it looks like, a chessboard like thing. But obviously they all can move in any direction. It does seem to be as soon as you come within the adjacent area, you can't move away from that. Did seem to be we've got a little bit of raw meat and a howler hide. All right, let us see. So we're taking that Nomad Wolf and comms, cancel the mission, squad. Do they still, do they have help? I'm kind of curious. Skill point six. Because he's natural regeneration during travel on the world map. So it's because I see skill at each level, recruit gains some skill points based on their intelligence, and these points can improve six combat skills. Melee. Uh, oh wait. So, melee, firearm actually, and that, and some first aid. Uh, you can do, you need more melee and defense. There we go. And let's see, so we probably want to do a little bit of crafting in some way. Current squad, current armor. View the squad's crafting material inventory. And that's our current actual inventory. All right. Um. Um. Fuse quads current craft. Zero 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 zero. Okay, we don't have anything for anything. Fair enough. Let's carry on. Um. Now, where are we to go here? No, 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 no. Because I'm assuming target. Map location. Our presence should deter raiders from attacking passing caravans. I didn't mean to cancel that. How oh dare! Did not mean to bribe them with some supplies. They leave us with no choice. Oh god! I don't know why I'm doing this, but for the sake of the video, this should be good. Oh wow! Okay. Your sand rats are either extremely brave or stupid to fight against so many of us. Prepare to die. Oh dear. So you've got a sniper and a gunner and a gunslinger. Oh dear. This isn't going to go very well. Chance to hit zero. Firebomb? No, can't do that. Uh, pipe bomb? Oh, well that just used the pipe bomb, but that doesn't... I, w I was hoping it would just sit there, but apparently it's not like... I don't know if there's mines in the game, it would be nice if there was. You can't shoot me right now, can you? Uh, you 36. I can leave you up there. What does adrenaline... It's probably adrenaline, isn't it? There's quite a lot of these guys, and they're all level 5. This probably wasn't the best of ideas. But it's good. Where the heck are you going? Uh, let's 
see. That doesn't all oh, we can actually. You missed! How the heck did you miss? Oh boy. Hello. You seem to get a lot of moves right now, which isn't too great. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. The cheat. I'm. Does he get? Okay, that's not going to go well. Is there any way for us to? like leave and not take this on because this was a really bad idea but yeah well bleeding oh i'm bleeding as well how do you get so many turns holy crap so you can't there doesn't seem to be a retreat mechanic so that is something to note um He is reduced to 10 HP. Uh, you only have that, so we only have enough for one. He's probably going to be killed before he even... Never mind. <laughs> before he even get the words out of my mouth, he's dead. Uh, this can't be good. This cannot be good. Oh dear. Hello, Mr. Axe person. Oh boy. Oh, you healed yourself too. You're going to shoot me, aren't you? Alright, well... When in doubt, put them all on fire. And run away. <laughs> I mean, I'm not entirely sure how the heck I'm meant to... I feel like I'm almost playing like because Final Fantasy XII did this, where they have a, like a really strong adversary right at the beginning of the. You just killed me in one swing. Lifetime of heart. We touch it. That it. Oh jeez, that is it. So we could. Can you continue? And then ah, okay. So you continue, and it'll take you to here. Okay, dokey. Let's see. Uh, let's take this one, and we'll return to the map, so you guys can get a little bit more of it. Uh, so we have that point over there, which is Mission Internal Security Expire 4. And we've got one up here. Let's head up here and speed this up. I have a flag now with me. For whatever reason. I like how you're seeing, like, the map is always, like, alive, though. It's like there's stuff going around all the time. Arriving at the meeting point, the squad witnessed an armed group engage in a fight against the hooded man who appears to have suffered a major injury. Picking up pace, the squad runs towards the scene. As they get closer, it's apparent that this man has fallen victim to a raider ambush. Fugs notice approaching recruits and temporarily halts their violence to focus their attention on your squad. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so we got two raiders of level what I should really move them, shouldn't I? You come down to here. That's why they were separate because, well, sniper. Skip return. You're going to come forward. So we got a gunner, a bandit, weapon revolver. All right. Uh, if I move up there, it's going to take up all my abilities. So I'm going to move down here. You are going to... Ooh, nice! Your turn it. Wait, what? I'm not complaining! So I'm trying to get him allured to come closer. I missed. Never mind. I missed. Why are you not doing anything? I don't trust you. I'm going to skip this turn just now. And I believe that we need to reload. Why can't I... Hmm. Didn't seem to let me get, I think I did, well, I think I had AP. 
trying to get him lured towards us. All right, next up. Right, so you have that. So you do need to reload. Won't let me reload. Long rifle. Is it because the weapon rifle is busted? I will certainly hope not. It's like, hello. Why won't it let me reload? So we could, you don't think ammo's an actual thing, do you? So I'll just cause him plenty of damage. You missed! Ha! You missed! And now I'm going to do this to you. Wait, what? You blocked it? How about you don't do that? I really wish I had one more AP because then I could actually do two things at once. <laughs> Rather than having to wait, but I'm guessing obviously we will get more characters. I do like the art style as well, it's actually quite nice. Uh, Dagger Strike. You missed. You missed. Do you have AP for it? You do. There we go. Oh, beast skill helm. Interesting. It does seem like you do actually need to get munitions, which is very intriguing. Munitions. All right, so let's see. Did we not get any? I thought we got munitions there. Oh, yeah, we do need to put this up. I'm just going to do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo, nope. And we'll put your melee up just now. Your squad's current weapon inventory, armor inventory, perks. We don't have any perks right now. Uh, zero, 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 zero. View the current. View the squad's current inventory. We've got food, water. And that's like it, isn't it? That seems to be it. The where did those helms go, I wonder? I mean, we've got 11, we've got 11 bullets actually, we've got bullets up here. So munitions used to reload small firearms. Okay, so we do actually have munitions and I'm assuming... Unless we have to click one of these... Oh, where did that, where did that just go? Plus right click and it, it ran away. Now you actually go there. I mean, it doesn't look like it, doesn't seem like we can actually click on anything. I mean, you've got item one. None of these seem to be clickable. One, one, one. I see you just right click it. Okay. No problem. No dragon and cross, which is quite nice. Once you word that out, you just right click and done. Which is actually quite nice. Uh, let's see. So we have completed that. So we're going to head down here. Now, does that expire four? I have no idea where the four is. Like, I don't know if it's days or it comes up or anything. I don't really want to advance the store. The time to hit the market for supplies. Holster your weapons. Enter peacefully. Right. We need uh, risky. Uh, we need we we need willing spies to securely. Deploy a vid link probe and an outpost of interest. Okay. Let's see. So we've got some resources here. And... So these cost 11. Uh, we'll get 20 just now. And we'll get 20 of them as well, can't we? I think. Yeah, we'll get... Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, we do need to get bullets, so... Um, so... Let's see. Jeez Louise. There we go. Not exactly too much, but I guess it'll do. Dark spores, raw meat, fur, edible plants, advanced allies, valuable scraps for crash starship fragments. What? So we can see here the crafting materials. And let's see. How do you... How does she craft? I'm wondering. There. So flash bomb, daze bomb, fire sand, fire sand, craft it. Okay, adrenaline, cycle, 
I love how there's just something just called cycle. It's so, like, yeah. So medical herb starts wars and fur. Okay. Let's see. Comms. We got that. So you need some. F no. Medical. Medical misper. Musicians. Crystal salt fuel cell. Zinium. Fire sand. Metal ore. Tools. Refined metal. Medical supplies. Rare ore. Alright, so. Medical herbs. Start spawn fur. Medical herbs. We got some fur here. And let's see what else we got. The fur, the dart spores, which are these guys. Just get a couple. And they need medical herbs, which are not here because we got edible plants. Oh, they do have medical herbs. Okay. There we go. Craft, and one of them. Now just, how long does it take? Uh, eight hours. Optimal level ten. Right, we're just going to head back to map because we do have another mission, which is great. And we'll soon see how that goes. I'm interested to see like uh, how we determine time because it doesn't seem to be it's like there or not. So there is a thing. Oh, let's see. Where have we to go? The way down here. Whoa, okay. Mission 7, Spire 4. Ah, okay, so... Where is the time on this? I'm trying to see. Is it that a Junker Syndicate faction? No, that's a faction standing. I would like to. Oh, there. So it's got a day here. Ah, okay. So it's this little thing up here. So you got D2. You got the arrow there. Uh, Pat Val on the back and follow her. Let Eliona do her talking. Follows Eliona's lead. Watch negotiate. Did we just? Oh wait, no, we weren't meant to go over here. Had to go down here. The Alex City usually has fuel cells for trade, or we could try the scavenging outpost. We want to go down here just now. Now this is saying day two. I don't know if this is moving at all. It doesn't seem like it is, but it might be. We just want to fight. We'll give them. Okay, this will probably be where we rode up and everything. But after this bit, and let's see. So use our melee. I'm going to come forward. Can't use AP yet, so we will skip our turn. Come on. I'm liking... The, the sound effects are actually pretty great at the game, and it has almost this like simple but very complex type of mechanics in the game already. Going to go up there, skip turn. You shouldn't be able to hurt me. All right, you, on the other hand, ammo. It's one down, or one shot, anyway. Excellent. You're turning again. Wait, what? Yes, yes, you're turning again. Dang it. Not meant to block things. Step forward and power thrust. Excellent. I'm probably going to get hit by it. Yep. Shield damage minus 30. What are you going to do? Reload. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> you missed. But it doesn't seem to let you reload because I think it's because we don't have that actual item on her. And that's why it's not letting us reload. <laughs> Which is fair enough. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna dis dis desecrate your corpse. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Alright then. Sure. You do that. <laughs> Alright. You. Your turn. <laughs> I like how you get the almost back talk going on, so you actually it feels like the game's actually, you know, reacting to what you're doing. <laughs> Shield. Okay. Alrighty. Uh try again. <laughs> A little bit of damage. It's your turn now. 
There we go. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's smash look at Nomads of the Fallen Star. You can find the Steam link down below, guys, if you're wanting to look it out. Make sure you're checking it out. If you're not at the moment, keep an eye on its development and everything. So thank you very much for watching this smash look at it. And if you enjoy what you see in Smash Game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back for more. See you all next time.